today's topic on data structures we will talk about a way of balancing binary search trees specifically we'll be we'll be talking about red black uh, binary search trees probably one of the most popular uh, implementations of this balancing so we touched briefly last week uh, when we talked about well, or, or on when we talked about uh, binary trees so first of all let's see what's binary tree just general what's a, what's a binary tree in general it's a tree with what property just about not search just binary tree well binary yeah or maybe one or maybe zero right but no more than two right okay so how about binary search tree what does what properties do binary search trees have and of course i'll be going to my favorite paint right i'll be going to paint in my coffee so let's go to our binary search tree all right let's do the binary search tree right b s d right so we have a root right a root node and what number are going to put here 10 right to 10 right so if i add 15 where does it go Okay, but just in general, which is binary search tree, generally. Just like it. 99% of the time, binary search tree number 15 will go there. I want to build a node, right? I want to build a node. I have, my, this is my initial node. This is my root, right? Yeah, of course, right? That's the uh, root, right? So, yeah. So, I will add here 15, right? Bar because so, yeah, obviously, if you could reverse it, right, you could have an exercise for that, right, or a thing of Google interview question for that, how to reverse it. But basically, yeah, you see? So, how about adding 12 here? Where, where will 12 go here? <laughs> no. No, no movement, no movement. This, this is binary search tree, no balance. 12. To the left of 15. Here. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, um, five. Oh, this way, right? So, uh, how about three? Yes. Very good. How about uh, 18? Of course. Yeah, you got it. You got it now, right? So, how about now, how about uh, 16? <laughs> yes, yes, very good, very good. Again, the algorithm must be very easy. You start as a root, whatever it is, right? On, you check, is it bigger or smaller, right? If it's bigger, you go down. If, let's say you want that, you, let's see, what number do you want that? Okay, let's take a vault to the number we're going to add, right? 11, okay. So how would you add 11? Is it bigger than 10? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it less than 15? Yeah, so it's not bigger than 15, it's less or equal to 15. Okay. How about 12? Uh, 11 is less than 12, so we add here. Right. But the thing, thing in general, binary search tree, the order how you add the data, right, matters. Because if you do something, uh, let me show you an evil, evil scheme, right? Paint, again, let's paint some more, right? And we will have a, I have a list of numbers, right? So I'll start to say uh, 10 to 15 in order, right? So I have a 10, right? 11, right? How about 12? Where do I have 12? Care left, right, 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 right. So, how about 14? Yeah, you got it, you got it. So, 15, right? So, and so on, right? So, the problem is if you are inserting something which is already sorted in a regular, this is regular binary search tree, right? right? There's nothing else, it just obeys the instructions. It's very, very relatively easy to implement. 
divine intelligence, right? But the issue is, as soon as you get some sort of ordering, you have basically, you call a huge imbalance. Left side completely empty, right? The right side is the path, the right side is the feet. challenge is uh, how would we uh, come up, how do we do this, right, again, because, so, if you have data, you only know what you have, right, if you have data, uh, you know, if somebody gives you, like, a whole bunch of data, right, well, you could do some sort of sorting, you can kind of, like, you could, do, you could sort, and then you could develop an algorithm, the order, how to insert, right, that's the specific thing you see, like, how we, like, we insert in the middle, and then we insert, like, sort of, like, middle to those, and but, but the problem, usually, well, oftentimes, the data is online, meaning it comes in, right? You don't know what you have, right? It just, they comes in one, you know, comes in, comes in, comes in, comes in, comes in, basically, and you don't have a way of, you know, pre-sorting or doing something else, right? You don't suppose the one sort, right? Well, so, uh, so you need some way, again, it's been a, uh, binary circuits are awesome, as long as they have some good balance. So you need some way of ensuring this balance. And over the years, there have been multiple algorithms developed for this, um, different approaches, right? And again, you might be asked, okay, why should I care about this? This is actually extremely important because pretty much all the structures we use, use to sort of uh, uh, search three, anything which is have orderings, like the map, which is order map in C++, is using it underneath, right? Uh, database indexing uh, for sorting uh, many many places where you have these type of three structures right so very very important okay so today we will look at famous or infamous if depending on who we ask red black trees okay so we saw this again let's see this again visualization let's do a, a quick visualization not red black tree but let's look at a regular binary search tree so again if I do 10 insert right uh, 12 right insert 8 insert right everything is good right and I can do like 9 insert right and 7 insert right 
You might be also asking, what happens if I insert another 7, right? Well, you realize things on the left side, right? You keep going. Yeah, no, actually on the right side turns out. Okay, but yeah. How about another 7? I guess in okay, so in this case, you insert on the right side, right? So it's it's not the end of the world if you have duplicates, right? And in this case, you need duplicates right to the right side, right? So what happens to the 6 now? 6 will be added here, right? This is kind of bad because these kind of like duplicates... If I insert six, which it's going to take go left here, of course, right? Because it cannot go to the right because six is less than seven, right? Again, hard rule, right? So if I insert six, we we'll go seven, 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 six, and to the right. I hope. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So about thirteen. Bigger. All right. So a couple takeaways. So this is, of course, if there's room, like so, for example, an eleven, right? No problem. I can insert fourteen here. No problem, right? But uh, uh, as soon as I start inserting something, uh, some similar numbers, like in a big chain, of course, it'll, it'll create these chains, and the balance will get out of uh, out of whack. I should, I should say out of that, yeah, out of the expression. Right. So let me see. So no, 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 no. All right. So, so, uh, so, if you want to implement something with some sort of properties, right? So, red black trees, right? Let's look at some slides. They have some slides as well, right? Right here, right? So yeah. So this question is from uh, this is the slides, right? So, uh, if you insert. 2,000 elements, right? Uh, in a binary search tree, what's the worst height you have? A, B, C, D, E. Which one? Which one is the worst height you have? 2,000 elements. What's the worst case scenario? D, of course, right? It's like an obvious one. Because why? Because 2,000. So why one? Why, why one nine nine nine? Because of course, uh, if you have two, it's height one, right? So one less, right? So pre pretty easy question, right? Uh, but yeah, so again, what I was talking about, the slides talk about the same thing, that balance is important. So unbalanced trees will lead to less than log n, right? So how do we guarantee this balance? Well, right? So one approach is called red black trees, I think late 60s, early 70s. But in practice, uh, this has been, I think, most popular one, even though there are some better implementations. We'll see. Uh, why was why is this why this sort of like it's, it struck a balance of between in, b being relatively easy to implement actually not so easy but also uh, we add extra property each node so this is a big idea red black right you add a red black property to each node on you maintain this this property so let's see again let's see what are these uh, things so First thing is uh, the property, red or black, right? So uh, again, so how how much extra memory we need for this? Sort of like a, almost big question, but okay. So let's say we have hundred nodes. How much extra memory we need to save for this actually, right? No, to keep red or black. If you have hundred nodes, no. I guess I think basically it's, uh, the answer would be this: it depends on how much space the boolean takes, right? Right. If it's a, just a single bit, right? We have only 100 bits, which is like only what, like 12 or 13 bytes, right? Most likely that's not the case. Mostly, mo most likely today we are rich, right? We are memory rich. Uh, we don't worry. We use a single byte, probably a byte, so 100 bytes, probably. But in old days, when memory was really at premium, right? Storing extra, you know, spending eight bits to store just a single bit was expensive, you know. Wow, wow, wow. So they, they use all kinds of tricks. But in general, idea, of course, is you can just have single byte. I mean, sorry, single bit. Red or black, on or off, true or false, right? Single bit. So one bit times how many nodes you have. Thousand nodes, thousand bits. Which is about, what, 128 kilobytes. Bytes, bytes. Okay, right. So, 
very efficient. You only need a little extra memory, right? Uh, but uh, we'll have some other properties. So uh, we'll have some other properties. Hope I'm recording. This. Yeah, I am. Right. So uh, pass, right? So here uh, pass to single or zero child nodes, right? Uh, so well, actually, eventually, so one, right? There's a pass to one, pass to sixteen, right? Single or zero child nodes. We have no child. Actually, uh, well, three. Well, it has a child actually, so I, I would say zero child nodes, right? So uh, we need to. We will need to keep track of all the paths actually where we go, right? So th these are the rules. So red or black, right? Easy rule. First rule easy, right? It's part of the thing. Second rule, root is black, right? Always bet on black, but when you start with the black, right? And then you have a two trickier rules. First one seems relatively easy. If you have a red node, its children must be black. That's the way they came up with it, right? The red rule, right? This is the red rule, right? Red, uh, so red, uh, red parent has two, has only black children. Okay, all right, we'll go with it, we'll roll with it, right? So, uh, on every path from a node to a new link, right, must contain the same number of black, uh, black nodes, right? So, from a node, right? So this is kind of tricky, right? This is a tricky part one, right? We will see this rule in action, we'll see what it means, right? So, and that's it, actually, and that, that, I think that's, I think that's enough. That is enough. So basically what this means, this four rule means that you have to have every, every connection should have a, a black enough, uh, uh, same number of, uh, every pass should have same number of black nodes. Look, look, look at this step. So first rule, uh, red or black, okay, there's no yellow, there's no green. Okay, that first rule is easy to, to satisfy, right? How about second rule? Root is black. Yes, it is a red black tree. Now, uh, how about this third rule? If a node is red, children are black. Let's check all the red nodes. No children, that counts as no, you know, black or nothing. That's that's fine. No children, that's fine. Uh, no children. How about 35? What kind of children it has? It has two ch children, black and black. Okay, rule three is good. But the four is the trickiest one. So, the number of black nodes must be the same in all paths from the root node to the null nodes. Okay, so you check this, uh, let's start with the root, right? So, anywhere you go here, right? How many black nodes do you see? One, right? Any pass, right? You, any pass to the, so say, to, the ex, to the exit, I'll call it exit, right? Uh, to the null nodes, right? You encounter only one, or you can, you can, of course, you can count the root. You have two, maybe, right? So two black, one, two. Here, here, exit, 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 right? How about here? Where do we exit? One, one black, still one black, one black. That's good. Okay, one black. Before uh, you say two black, two black, two black, two black, on both sides. Here, one black, one black, two black. We can exit here immediately. You know, there's nothing here. Or we have a red one here. That's fine. That's not black. You don't come. So, in this simple example, this is actually a real, a good, honest, honest red black tree, right? So again, you might be asking, okay, so why did why was this this rule, this especially this not rule four? What is what's the idea of this? Well, what does it do? What does it ensure, right? It ensures some sort of balance, right? We will see. This means. In these three and four rules are combined, we can never go out too much of balance. There's actually a formula, you can see the ratio, I forget now, was 1.4 something, right? Basically, uh, you can never go too much of balance. As soon as, as long as you follow these rules, right? Uh, you will, your three will be approximately balanced, meaning it will not be, where's my paint, right? It will be closer to me, not as this, but it will be better than so-so, it will be between so-so and good. Maybe it will be even really good, but it will never go, uh, it will never be really bad, basically. This this version is not impossible, right? We'll see why, right? So, let's check our next example. Is this a red-black tree? Okay, so first of all, 
Uh, we forgot uh, the thing is red black trees, of course. Uh, they need the base, the base properties. They still keep what properties? The basic binary search tree properties. So this is a little bit tricky, right? First, we have to check: is this actually a binary search tree? Does it look like binary search tree to me? Well, 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 well. Um, let's take a look. Uh, it looks like 35, 50, 75, 35, 180. Okay, that's okay. Here, 12, 0, minus 10, minus 5 is more than minus 10, minus 8, minus 6. Looks okay here. Right. But, now let's look at our red-black properties. Uh, of course, red or black, yeah, sure. Uh, black, black root. Okay. Now, how about uh, the red nodes? Do they only have black children? Yeah. That works. Okay. Right. But now, let's see, does it really have... Uh, uh, well, I see a problem here. I see a problem. Why is this red black tree? So who can tell me uh, why it would not be a red black tree? Right. I see two problems. Actually, I see two problems. Actually. Well, what do I see? Three problems. Yeah, I see three problems. Right. I see three problems. I see three problems. Or maybe even four problems. Can we get five problems? Mm, maybe not five problems. Okay. So, what's the issue? Right. Why is this not a proper red black tree? The issue is the rule four. All the number, number of black nodes must be the same in all paths from the root node to null node. So what's the root null node, right? Null node, right? Null nodes, right? Zero or one are a particular, so one, zero or one children, right? So notice here, right? Uh, this has one child, right? Zero. Okay, this is fine. But here's a problem, right? All right? This is a valid pass, right? But this also counts as a pass here, right? So here the problem is, right? If we cut off here, right? This would be... Uh, right, still be... Well, no, still would not be, right? Property. So, here, this is not a valid red black tree because we have some paths which take more blacks than usual. It looks superficially, you say, okay, we start at root, we go three down here, three black here, three black here. What's the problem? But no, as far as red black are, uh, red black is, is defined, you also have to look at the uh, when you have only one. So you cannot put black here, basically like this, right? You need to have another black here. To have it. And also you, have, you need to have black here, basically, right? So this is not balanced. This is for purpose of red black tree. This is not a red black tree, right? So, yeah. So it's a binary search tree, but it's not a red black tree. Okay. How about this one here, right? Well, how about here? Well, so let's look at our uh, exit nodes. So first of all, we have black. Yes, it's red, black tree. Root is black. Red, okay. Remember, there's no limit to how many reds you have. Only question is, if you have a red node, you need a black children, right? It's a red parent, black children. Certainly looks okay to me. And how about the last rule? Now, let's look at all the paths. So we start one uh, one black, two black here, and exit, exit, right? So how about here? All the possible paths. Uh, one black, two black, exit, exit. Okay? One, uh, one black, still one black, two black, right? Exit, or still no exit, on e or exit here. So this is a red-black tree right so uh now the, the slides ask a couple more things about the uh, graph uh, the trees there are three things about uh, uh, perfect full or complete and the thing is they're really easy to uh, mix them up right there are three things that trees can have extra properties which are really nice to have but they're not uh, exclusive to each other they are go together so maybe let me give you these definitions these three things Perfect, full and complete trees. Uh, let's see. Uh, perfect tree graph. Right. Full, yeah. So this actually Baldwin will show you. This is pretty nice, actually, right? Yeah. I agree. Assuming he doesn't have too many ads, right? So, so this is full, right? So basically, a full one is binary tree. Again, we're not talking about sorted or not sorted. Basically, number of nodes, how they are. How, so this meaning is is max. Zero or two, right? Right, right. 
So very so this means it's, it's as balanced as possible, right? This is as good as it gets, right? This is what we would like to have, but red black trees do not guarantee this. They do not guarantee this full binary tree, right? Because they said, okay, we just want good enough, right? So this is the best one we could have, but not in our case, right? So complete, right? So this is like uh, uh, all levels are filled, right? But it's possible, you know, you have, so this is, is this complete? Yes, if this is complete, right? Full binary tree, right? Is, is good, right? But, uh, but uh, uh, we, you know, we might have a complete tree, right? Which might have this, you know, uh, one is it's allowed to have this, right? Meaning it's also very, 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 uh, very good to have this, right? And how about perfect, right? This means this is the best you could have, but obviously, assuming it's binary tree, only certain number of data, you know, depending on number of data, you know, units you have, only certain certain collections will have this property, even possible, right? So what's the property you have? Let's see, let's see if you can figure out the formula for this, right? So, one, two, four, eight, right? So, what kind of trees could have be perfect binary trees? I mean, if you have number of elements. So what's the, what's the requirement for this, basically? You just count them up so one is good this would be perfect abc would be perfect defg would be perfect this also would be perfect and this also would be perfect right so let's see if you can come up with the formula again i'll do my paint right same thing so let's do a perfect binary tree right so perfect and perfection here will be me involve me drawing again another ugly picture so perfect Right, that's the formula, right? General formula. So these types, these will be 
you have, if you can put your units in this type of formula, right, then you can have a perfect binary tree. But obviously, most of your data is not going to be on this form, right? Because if you perfect binary tree, it's sort of like ideal, right? It'd be nice to have, but you're never going to have it. I mean, you rarely will have it, right? As you get more data, you know, power two, you know, you keep, you have lots of, lots of uh, possibilities between, right? So usually, right, so n is, uh, I guess, natural number, I, I, I don't know, is this correct? I'm not, I'm not really, you know, I'm not a full-time mathematician, I play one on TV, but no, but, <laughs> but yeah, something like that, right, natural number, yeah. okay, something like this, okay, but, so that leaves us with, uh, or, or sort of like goal, right, uh, is uh, complete, right, or full, and this is like really full and complete, they really go together, and I'm actually, right, so, log n plus 1, right, and I think also, right, full, ah, every node, right, uh, is zero or two children, right, so, I do have two here, it's not, actually, this is kind of misleading, I want to tell you, this full, this full binary tree is misleading, right, uh, I think geeks for geeks, and I'll think also, so perfect, right, is good, uh, but, uh, let's look at the full, um, full, full binary tree, right, yeah, you see, so what, that, that's what I want to mention, this, let me do another paint, right, paint job, right, Right, so here, and this is what's a little tricky, right? So again, so again, I, and I, I, you see, perfect. I know perfect is good. Perfect is awesome, right? So here, uh, full, right, or proper, right? So zero, mm, full, proper, right? Zero. But this is means, right? You can do this, right? This is not full proper. But you can do this, right? And this is this is proper, but also this is proper if you think about it, right? Zero, zero, two, right? Every place has zero two, right? So this is not allowed, but this is allowed, right? And also you can do this, right? Again, and you can have it here, right? Each time you add either 0 or 2, right? You cannot add 1. So let's see, did I mess up? No, I did not mess up anywhere, right? 2 or 0, 2 or 0. Yeah? So full and proper. But notice, yeah, it is, it's not, I think the, that's why you cannot uh, depend on the official, on unofficial materials like they seem good, but the balance, right? It, 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 it's sort of good, right? But not, not always. Because as you can imagine, right? Uh, well, uh, you could do this, I mean, uh, you could have this, right? Uh, I mean, you can imagine, right? I mean, it's possible, right? Right, somewhere here, right? I mean, do, right, you just keep going, right? This would be, according to this definition, right? And I mean, we all trust this idea, right? Or you know, maybe check on Wolfram. Let's check Wolfram Alpha. Maybe, 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 uh, mm -hmm. again, this definition is wrong, right? Let's double check, right? I don't want to say okay uh, Wolfram Alpha right um, um, uh, prop full full gra full tree yeah regular trees um, um, Wolfram or Mathematica yeah tree Wolfram full tree tree language documentation but this is actually a documentation for the Mathematica I believe right yeah, it doesn't mention this. So, multiple levels, right, 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 right. Um, actually, has some, I mean, like I said, I don't, I, have, I don't use much Mathematica because, of course, it's a paid product, but it has some, it has some nice things, too. Oh, here it was, right. But there was used, they used to have nice mathematical three properties measurement, right. Uh, let's see, you can actually test it here. All right, welcome close. Right. Number three propositions. I want to see. There was. I, I'm not. Am I? I was actually going to check something else, but uh, regular trees. Three 
this is actually Mathematica. Um, perfect, perfect three. Let's see. Mm, I'm not get, um, my my my. I like to say I don't use Google as much anymore, right? I'm mostly all using LLMs, so I, I'm not I'm not getting you a good a good representation, right? So full, right? <laughs> Again, assuming you always have two parents, right? right in the age of genetic modification maybe it's not so true anymore soon right but we do have always have two parents uh, someday right in some form so uh let be a fool right a full one right so perfect one everybody right so uh, complete now so so a reminder that this so this means that uh, by definition so this is a uh, uh, proper i'll call this save there was full property right this one how about this is perfect right perfect three right right now let's do one more paint on uh, do complete let's do a complete so complete is basically what I showed you right it's basically complete is those what you can do for any data set. So any type data set, so complete, complete, all level field, field, right? Except my last one, last from left to right. So this is Perfect, yes. Is this complete? Yes. Is this uh, full? Yes. All right. So, is this complete? Let's think about it. Is it perfect? No, of course not perfect. It's complete. Why? First level field, there's nothing else, right? So, uh, this one here, it's, uh, it will be started left, right? It's still one. I mean, that's it. I mean, you know, so, it's still now, of course, now it's perfect. Now it's also full, if you think about it, because if there are two children, it's course perfect. So this is the best you can have. You get two n minus one, right? So is this uh, still complete? Yes, because we started left side. So is this complete? Is this complete? Yes. Why? <laughs> but I, I, I missed one. This is not complete, right? I, I got floppy. I got floppy. This is not complete. Because I need so, so now it's not complete. You see? So it's starting left and you keep doing no. Yeah. So yeah, so this definition. So these three definitions, I again, if you don't use graphs for a while, you can you can mix them up, right? And again, they may not be so crucial, but understand there's different ways of defining this balance. So yeah, so this is anything. As you can imagine, no matter how much data you have, it's a real easy form. Keep doing this, right? Complete, complete, still, complete, right? Don't have here. They're not only, only. Also, you don't have to think. It's like a. You keep adding. But of course, the issue is you're building a binary search tree. Getting something in complete like this idea already, right? It's not gonna be easily done, right? Actually, the balance requirement, right? So this is general, general binary tree. So that's the problem. Okay, now, uh, well, we've been talking for a while, so um, let's take a break, I guess, right, for 15 minutes, so we'll continue at 12.10, right, so complete.